Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Two Peas in a Pod channel. Uh, this is a tutorial on changing a flat tire. Uh, little disclaimer, this uh, video is going out to uh, my kids. Um, in the event that something bad were to happen to me, I have sort of a dangerous job and Apparently COVID is killing people in their 30s. Uh, I wanted them to have me teach them how to do some of these basic uh, skills. So, uh, guys, love ya, and uh, let's get into it. So, the first question you have to ask yourself, is it safe for me to get out of the vehicle and start changing a tire? Um, if you're on a busy highway, you might want to uh, slowly move uh, off to an exit if one's close by so you can get somewhere where there isn't a lot of traffic. Um, but if you are on a, a fairly quiet road, pull off to the side and, uh, and we can get started. Uh, another note on safety, uh, if the weather is questionable, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't necessarily go out and start working on uh, changing a tire if it was blizzard or uh, if it was really foggy, poor visibility, stuff like that. So uh, something to think about before we get started. So uh, you're off to the side of the road, you've realized it's safe. Before you even get out of the vehicle, um, what you're going to want to do is pull out the or go looking in the glove box and find your vehicle's uh, owner's manual or user's manual. This one is for uh, little Rammy here. Uh, and then in this uh, manual, what you'll find is uh, what to do in an emergencies section, usually. And within this section, it'll show you or tell you uh, and show you where the jack is located in your vehicle. If there's any special tools that you need, uh, which is usually located with the vehicle uh, in the trunk or in this case, uh, the truck in the cab. Uh, where to find your spare tire and how to access it and uh, any other precautions that you may need to follow. Uh, so, once you've familiarized yourself with that section uh, and what to do, uh, it's time to get started. Okay, so from the emergency, what to do in an emergency section in our user's manual, we located the jack and wheel wrench, which is located under the uh, passenger seat in the Dodge Ram with the 2008. Um, one thing about these older trucks is things tend to rust, uh, so there's a bolt, uh, like a wing nut, that holds the jack down into place. Mine was actually rusted out, so if you have a similar age vehicle or something that is seeing a lot of rust, make sure you uh, either remove that or test it and lube it uh, once in a while. Uh, okay, so uh, now that we have our jack and our wheel wrench, uh, first thing to do, make sure the vehicle's in park, uh, emergency brake is on, and uh, before we get uh, jacking, what we want to do is we want to loosen up the wheel nuts. Uh, just because if we lift this up in the air and try and uh, loosen them up, then the tire is just going to spin. So while it's on the ground here, just give these about a quarter turn counterclockwise just to loosen them up. Okay. So if you're having problems uh, getting these wheel nuts loosened off, uh, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. So if you're putting your wheel uh, wheel wrench on like this and pulling or pushing on it, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, make sure you're using the very tip of the wrench because you can get a better lever uh, on it versus kind of trying to operate from down here. Uh, another thing, so to help you out, make sure it's about at, uh, I guess that's 10 o'clock position. What I do is I just lean on it, I straighten my arm, and I push my body weight down. Another trick you can do is if you're having problems, just put a foot on it and try and stand on it. That should loosen all those up for you. Okay, so now that we have our wheel nuts loosened off uh, about a quarter turn, 
it's time to grab the spare tire. In the 2008 Dodge Ram 1500, you access it uh, from the back using the uh, jack extension, which is located with your wheel wrench. You can see it there. There's your wheel wrench and the jack uh, extension, or sorry, the uh, spare tire extension, uh, spare tire winch extension, I think is what it's called in the book. And uh, so your spare tire is located under the truck right there and the port that you use your spare tire winch so there's the license plate and just in there you can see that square peg you uh, insert your uh, spare tire winch uh, tool in there and then rotate that and the spare tire should come down and uh, and then you have it uh, on another note with regards to rust, uh, this truck, the winch won't work because it's rusted out completely so I can't get my spare tire down. So that's another good thing to check once in a while. Um, I can still get it uh, just by cutting the winch cable off and the tire will drop. Um, or you can replace the winch, I think it's like 150 bucks on uh, most auto parts uh, spots. So. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll use a different tire as my spare. Okay, so I got my spare out. It's time to put the jack in. From our user manual, the jack goes under, uh, on the lower control arm rather. So I put it into place, finger tight. See if this leave work. And then you use your wheel wrench. No, oh, that's not going to work. Let's see here. There we go. Put your wheel wrench on the end of your scissor jack and use that to help you lift her up. These scissor jacks are nice. They're simple. You can lift a lot, but it's a pretty slow process. Okay, once your tire's jacked up and free spinning, it's time to loosen the lugs up the rest of the way. So the way with your fingers. If you're on the side of the road and you're doing this, put your uh, lug nuts in your pocket or somewhere where you're not going to lose them, especially when it's snowing. Flat tire comes off, slide that somewhere in the way. Your tire comes on. Once that's in place, just finger tight these wheel lugs back in place. These have a bit of a uh, crown on them, I guess. So I don't know what you would call that. A bit of a taper. So it fits into the uh, rim and it's supposed to put your rim on fairly straight. These uh, Dodge Ram, it's 2008, it's a hub centric rim so if it's sitting on the inner ring of that hub centric support then it should be pretty good. I usually tighten these with my fingers as far as I can get them. 
just so I'm not sitting here spinning the wrench for hours. Once they're in place here, give them a little bit of a tighten. Usually start with the top. So we're in place nice. Give it a couple of jiggles there as you're tightening just to make sure that you are in fact sitting on the uh, that hub centric ring. See it wiggled a little bit and it went further on and now I can finger spin these a little bit quicker. Okay, there's a little bit of play there but we're getting close. That looks good. Alright, so back onto the top one. I'll just give that tighten the boat there. And then you want to tighten these in kind of a uh, star pattern. So I come down to the bottom right here. Give that guy a couple of spins. I'm not going to be able to tighten them up completely because I still got the, the truck up. So usually I'll just kind of jump up and to the left there. So I'm doing the top left corner. And then over to this side. Tighten that guy up. last one there we go. that feels good and then we're gonna lower it down off the jack okay truck is off the jack it's on its own weight now so we're gonna give these another turn How tight you want these yeah there's a there's a torque setting for these but when you're on the side of the road you don't exactly have a torque wrench so what I usually do is lean on them put a bit of body weight on there what you probably don't want to do is start bouncing on it like this you're gonna create a bit of a shearing force and you could potentially do some damage to your logs or break one okay I usually go over this twice Give it a couple of turns, double check everything, make sure they're all tight. Again, doing that star pattern. Go. Good. All right, so let's tighten up. If you have a full size spare, this is good to go. You're good to go highway speeds, whatever. Um, a lot of smaller vehicles will have a dummy tire, which is just a small tire to kind of get you by. Uh, a lot of times those have a speed rating. So just have a look on the tire. If you do have uh, a dummy tire, that's not a full size one like this. Uh, but after that, you're good to go. If you do have the full size one on and you're just gonna leave this on, which I'm gonna do, then you wanna retorque these uh, to uh, after 50 kilometers. And then when you get back to the garage, you can do it using, uh, using a torque wrench and actually set the actual foot pounds that you need there. But you're good to go. Good job. So one thing you can do here, uh, I'll be putting out more videos like this as things break around here. So uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification uh, bell and you'll be able to get my uh, latest videos when they come out. Thanks for watching.